all welcome back to my channel this is a continuation video to my moving platform video that i uploaded a few days back in this video we'll talk about how to make a player game object stay on the moving platform without pressing any directional keys with that being said let's get started so this is the same project that i used for my moving platform video and if you guys want to understand the logic behind the moving platforms then you can check out that video i'll add the link to that video over here now let's talk about the additions that i have made for this project so as usual i have added a player game object i have added the capsule collider 2d for this player object the rigid body as well and i've set the gravity scale to 3 and i've also constrained the rotation in the z axis this is about the player game object if we talk about the platform or the moving platform over here under moving platform i have simply added the box player 2d so that it can track the collisions between the platform and the player object one more thing that i have done is i have created one new tag over here you can see i have added tag as moving platform so if you guys want to know how we can create a tag just click on this and then over here click on add tag to do that you can add new tag so let's say if i wanted to get a new tag as ground now this is created now go back to any of the game objects where you want to use that tag so for example for the platform l right now it's untagged so let's add the ground tag over here that's it let's do the same thing for this one okay so now our platform has the box collider 2d as well as these two platform as well and these are just for tracking the collisions between the player game object and the platforms now let's run this game and see what happens once we move our player game object on top of this platform and one more thing i've already set up the player movement as well as the jump now let's try to stay on this okay so right now I am you know using my directional keys to stay on the platform but as soon as I stop it you see a player game object was not moving with the platform I'll again show you you see the platform was moving but the player game object was not moving now how to fix this how to make a player game object follow or stay on the moving platform now let's do one thing let's add one empty game object inside our player game object let's call it maybe ground check this is an empty game object let's do one thing let's add a tag for this one maybe maybe this yeah now we need to move this particular object down over here check now let's add a box collider 2d to this let's track mention so that it only touches the feet of our player you know game object if i check this one so I think yeah this is fine hmm. yeah that's it and one more thing that we need to do is we need to check this is trigger option so that it simply so whenever the player object or our new game object the empty game object ground check collides with the platform or the ground it do not forces the ground you know uh, as a rigid body but it simply triggers those collision events now let's do one thing now once this is done let's create a script machine let's call it the yeah let's call it ground check only over here it's full screen we do not need on start or on update functions or nodes over here we just need on trigger enter 2d and on trigger 
exit 2D. Reason why we need this is because we want to track our collisions with the platform. So that's why we need these two, you know, um, nodes. This one will be called or triggered as soon as we enter or the collision happens between the down check game object and the other game objects. So now let's do one thing. Now let's create one more variable called as player. It will be of type game object and let's add our player game object over there. Hmm. This is fine. Now let's do one thing. Let's simply compare with our moving platform. All we are doing over here is we are simply checking whether the game object that collided with our ground check game object it is actually moving platform or not. We are simply checking the tag of that game object. Let's connect this. Once this is done, if this is true, uh, we'll check over here. If this is true, then what we need to do is we just want our player game object to move as per the movement of our moving platform game object. How can we do that? We just need to set the parent of our player game object. So I'll use this. The value that it should take is from this collider, which is nothing but the moving platform game object. So we just want to transform of this yep that's it now if you go back if you run our game now you see our player is not falling down it's simply following whatever direction the moving platform is doing or is going on so you see but there is still one issue so let's say if i simply get down from the platform <laughs> it's still following its direction so to fix that we need to go back to our script graph for our game check or ground check variable or sorry game object over here we just need to track if our player leaves the platform what we need to do is we again need to first check whether it left the moving platform game object if this is true then we just need to set the parent this thing again we just copy and paste we just need to set it with null value what it does is right now for this one that means is whatever movement or whatever point value the moving platform was having the same was you know being followed by a player game object for this case if you're setting it to null that means the player game objects transform or any movement will not be impacted or affected by any other game object so that's why we are putting null over here now if i go back and if i simply run the game let's scan on this now this is working fine so now let's go down now it's fixed it's not following the plat moving platforms movement or transform once we get down again let's go back it's staying on the platform let's get down now it's not following it if you guys learn something new then i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel so that i can create more videos related to unity's visual scripting in the future thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.